What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, super excited to be bringing you guys a balanced Shadow Rider Calyrex team for Ranked Regulation G. Now, we're not showcasing this team right now on the Ranked Ladder, but since Ranked actually does drop in just a couple of days, I want to bring you guys a solid Shadow Rider Calyrex team that you guys can save in your rental codes to use later when Ranked does drop. But the Calyrex over here is rocking the as one ability alongside with the Life Orb as item, making it do an insane amount of damage. Furthermore, it's got Astro Barrage, Draining Kiss, Nasty Plot, and Protect. And let me tell you guys right now, you set up Nasty Plot with Calyrex, it's pretty much game over. This thing's usually outspeeding, and with that plus two special attack boost, it's going to be KOing left and right with Astro Barrage. Another Pokemon that I love for Regulation G is going to be Screen's Grimmsnarl, and we have that on today's team. Now, with all the restricted Pokemon floating around in Regulation G, Screen's are just amazing, negating a lot of the damage. This one's got Reflect. With Light Screen, Thunder Wave, Spirit Break, and last but not least, obviously the Light Clay to make those screens last 8 turns. Our other 4 Pokemon on today's team feature Ogre Pond, I should say Wellspring Ogre Pond, and Urshifu. Urshifu, amazing on the physical attack side. Same thing with Ogre Pond, and then we got Rillaboom and Entei. Rillaboom's great for terrain control and fake outs, and Entei is just a great Pokemon all around. Inner Focus to kind of deal with those Intimidate Pokemon. It's got Assault Vest to be very bulky up against special attackers. Furthermore, you can Snarl Spam. Drop in special attack, and you also have E speed on this guy. First time priority is massive in certain situations. We love Entei. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing Shadow Rider Calyrex. First match on its way, and we are going up against a Shadow Rider Calyrex team as well. They have Indeedy to set that psychic terrain, they also have Tornadus for speed control. But something I definitely want to lead here is going to be our Grimmsnarl. Screens are going to be our advantage. They can take speed control. We definitely want that. So I definitely want Rillaboom Heat in here as well. Because if they want to set the train, we're going to need a way to counter it. But I'm going to lead Grimmsnarl. And I believe Shadow Rider Calyrex is probably our play, right? Most likely definitely our play, correct? Yeah, I like that. We'll bring Rillaboom in the back end. And then last but not least, we could go Entei. Entei's not bad here. We could also go in with Urshifu. Because if we can get rid of terrain... Sucker Punch is deadly. Sucker Punch is amazing up against a lot of these guys. So I do like Urshifu here. Especially with the Focus Dash as well. Really can't go wrong with that. So I really do like our squad here. I really do like our squad. We might have to protect Calyrex turn 1. Just try to set screens and then take out Terrain. Really depends who they go into. Because I feel like they're, they're either leading in DD Calyrex or Tornado's Calyrex, right? It makes the most sense. They're two very solid leads. I could see Tornado's pop out here considering it's Calyrex versus Calyrex. At that point, we just pop a Lich Queen and kind of get after it. But no, they go Hydreigon and Indeedee. I'm cool with that. I don't, I, don't, I don't mind that. I don't mind that at all. I mean, definitely got to pop a Lich Queen here. Lich Queen's going to be our best friend. And the Psychic Surge is out and about. Okay. That's fine by me. I do have Draining Kiss, which is pretty nice. Um, Hydreigon is a Dark type of, which is a little rough on my end. But I mean, we definitely want to set up this light screen here. And I might just want like Terra Fairy here, right? Terra Fairy Draining Kiss. Or I could Nasty Plot here. Not a bad call for me to Nasty Plot. Definitely not a bad call for me to Nasty Plot here. I think he could have Flash Cannon. That's definitely an option. That's definitely an option. You know what? I'm going to go for the Nasty Plot here. I'm going to go for Nasty Plot alongside with Terrasalize. I'm going to go for a risky play here. Looking to set up this nasty pot. Indeed, he could be going for a follow me. That's definitely an option. And Hydreigon, you could be going for, say, like a Dark Pulse here. That's an option. I would think probably Dark Pulse. Let's see how this one plays out here. We're going to go Helping Hand. Helping Hand Dark Pulse, maybe? Show me it's like Draco Meteor. That'd be beautiful. Nice screen is out and about. We're going to negate some damage here. And you're going to end up going for the Dark Pulse. Okay, that's fine. Not doing nearly enough damage as you want to. And this Nasty Plot is now set up. So we got Nasty Plot in full effect. In a full effect. And from here, we might just double down. Actually, we should probably just Thunder Wave in DD. Actually, we can't. Psychic Train, it's a deadly kind of thing. We're going to double down into this thing with Draining Kiss. With Draining Kiss. Looking to get back a ton of HP here. So we got Nasty Plot plus two set up. We love it. We love it. We got Light Screen out and about. We still have Rillaboot in the back end if we want to change up terrain. And Hydreigon's going to get the withdrawal here. So Hydreigon's going to swap out into who here? Who are you bringing in? You're going to bring in Tornadus, which is not a bad call. I don't, I don't mind that. I honestly don't mind that because Draining Kiss is going to fly here. 
It's gonna chunk up some damage and Spirit Break with this might just pick up KO. Yeah, it is, beautiful. So we're back up to full HP. You're gonna sash up, we're gonna say bye bye to Tornadus and I wonder what Indeedee's gonna go for here. I'm curious to see what Indeedee's going for. Daz and Gleam maybe? Not really too worried about what it's, what it's really doing here. Yeah, Daz and Gleam, that's fine. We have Light Screen. A Pokemon soak all day. Soak all day, yo, I love Grimstarl. We actually just used Grimstarl on our Garatina team. If you haven't checked out that video, it's a really solid video. We have some great battles. But Garatina and Grimstarl were just amazing. So I feel like Grimstarl is making a big time comeback in Regulation G. I just love its screens. I, I really do. So now they bring out Arm Rouge. And from here, I mean, I'm just going to swap. I'm going to take out Terrain. I don't I don't feel like dealing with Terrain, right? I'm just going to take out Terrain. And I could just go for an Astro Barrage here. I could stick with Drain and Kiss. I think Astro Barrage is going to be our play. Just to try to get rid of Arm Rouge. I'm cool with that. So we'll swap Grimstarl. We have Light Screen out and about. And we're going to be able to bring out Robloom and just get rid of the Psychic Terrain. So Psychic Terrain has gone. If you stay on the field with his Arm Rouge, it's pretty much dead. Because Astro Barrage is just going to rip into it. And you're going to end up going for Wygar, which is rather smart play. So Wygar comes out here. Cool, that's fine. I mean, I'll drain and kiss next turn, and I'll go after your Indeedy, I guess. But I think you're just going for Dazzling Gleam. Is that the play? Is that your play? I think that's your play. I think that is your plan. So Wygar working really well, and Trick Room's going to fly here, which is solid. The Trick Room out and about. Okay. Trick Room is here. To be honest, I might just U-turn. I might just U-turn and go into Drain and Kiss into this slot. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to double down into Indeedee. Arm Rouge could be protecting here. It could be attacking with like an Armor Cannon. And we'll see. He's just going to withdraw Arm Rouge. Alright. So you withdraw Arm Rouge into Hydrogon. You didn't bring Shadow Rider Calyx. I'm just realizing that now. Hydrogon's going to come back out here. Dazzling Gleam's going to fly. No big deal. I'm U-turn pivoting out of here. Doing half damage to Indeedee, Drain and Kiss should be able to finish you off. And from here, I can swap into... Who should I swap into? I could go back into Grimstone, or I could just go into you. I have a close combat in the Focus Hatch rather well. Is that what I want? I could just go Grimstone. I'm going to go Grimstone here. Just so I can paralyze uh, Arm Rouge. And Grimstarl is good at wasting turns. If we need to waste out Trickroom turns, we can just do that. So Grimstarl is going to come out here. Drainy Kiss plus two should finish off in DD. Bring us back up to full HP. Yep, and I go plus three on special attack, which is massive. Wow, this Calyrex is awesome. We love this Calyrex. And now Terrain is all ours. You have no Psychic Terrain. This match is pretty much wraps. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Looking to sweep here. Looking to sweep. So from here, we can paralyze the armors, which I think I'm probably going to do. Makes the most sense. We cannot do it on Hydreigon, considering it's a Dark-type Pokemon. So I think I'm just going to protect Shadow Rider Calyrex. Let's be honest here. They see this thing as a massive threat. Hydreigon could be rocking with, uh, with Flash Cannon, so kind of don't want to deal with that. I'm just going to protect this turn. Just one point. Thunder Wave. Slow him down. Have a chance to paralyze. They're already slower than us, so there's no point. And they're just going to end up to rationalize the Hydrogon. The Hydrogon gets the Terror type, and it's going to go straight Steel. So this is leading me to think it has Flash Cannon. This is a solid little protect from us. A big time protect from us. we going to protect the Horse. The Ghost Horse. We love the Ghost Horse. And we're going to land a Thunder Wave. Awesome. Armouche paralyzed now. So now it has a chance of missing a turn. I actually don't know like the odds of it. It might be like 33%. Not too sure, but Heat Wave's gonna come across here. Grimstarl is gonna soak that no problem. We blocked that with Calyrex, and you're definitely going for a Flash Cannon or something in the in the Calyrex here, right? Yeah, all day. That's that's an easy one. That's an easy read. Now I can actually paralyze Hydreigon now. Yeah, you want to be paralyzed? I'm definitely paralyzing you. How many turns are left in Light Screen though? Oh my God, three turns left in Light Screen. We're gonna have another turn of Light Screen when Trick Room ends. Insane, insane. But from here, I'm just gonna go Astro Barrage. I'm gonna go for Thunder Wave. Maybe we get a Paralyze, keep my Calyrex alive. And if Calyrex is alive, it's gonna be game set match with this Astro Barrage being plus three with a Life Orb and Stab Boost. E Wave's gonna connect. Calyrex takes damage. Crit on Grimmy. I actually don't like that. Can you please be Paralyzed? No, now I'm dead here, aren't I? I think I'm dead. Kinda hurts the soul. Can you soak? You soak. We love you. That's game set match. That's game set match. Thank you, Blade Shreen. 
Thank you so much, Light Screen. Astro Barrage coming across here. Double KO. We just showcased the power of Shadow Rider Kyldrax in match number one. Moving on to our second match, and we're going up against Ho-Oh. Ho-Oh, one of those legendaries that everybody loves. It's just a fan favorite. Gen 2 brings back all the good old memories. But they also have Rollaboom and Incineroar, two big-time fake-out users. Terminator so Control, all that good stuff. Actually, they have three fake-out users. Hit my tops on the field. Two Intimidate users, two or three fake-out users. And then they got Amoongus and Raging Bolt. So chances are they're leading a fake-out slash... Slash, uh, what's it called? Intimidate user. So, honestly, Calyrex, Grimson are all not bad here. But I might just go Calyrex and Entei. Ooh, Calyrex and Entei could be good for us. Definitely could be good. I kind of want to try to set up a nasty bot. That'd be gorgeous. That'd be gorgeous. But I am going to end up going into Entei and Calyrex. And something else I have to watch out for is wide guard on him on top. So I'm going to go into both of them. I am going to eventually bring out Screen's Grimson all. It's just going to be a back-end Pokemon of ours. And last but not least, least do we go Wellspring Ogre Pond? I like it. I can get down for that. I like it. So this match, we're bringing Grimstrong in the back end. Like, I just love Grimstrong. Like, I just feel like we need to get off screens. And screens are just so strong for us. So I feel as if we can get out, like, Entei for a little bit, Shadow Rider Calyrex. Then we can pop the screens. We can really start going from there. But they're either leading Hitmon Top or Incineroar, right? I feel like with two Intimidate users and me with no Defiant users. You're just going to be throwing them out there, right? Ho-Oh and Hitmon Top. Yeah, see? Told you. So Ho-Oh, Hitmon Top come out here. Um, hmm. What is my play here? Maybe just Protect Calyrex? Maybe just Protect Calyrex. I could start Snarling here. Actually, you're physical attacking. You are physical attacking. I could just go into a nasty spot, get some HP back. That's going to be my play. Well, not a nasty spot, a dreamy kiss. I'm going to go into dreamy kiss here. I'm going to get some HP back, and I'm just going to go into a Sacred Fire. I'm just going to double down into this thing. Just try to get rid of him on top. And yep, there's the wide guards that I knew I had to worry about. Nice little dreamy kiss coming out here. And we're going to do half damage. I wish that would have came out beforehand. So now... Oh, it was looking a little scary if it's going for Sacred Fire into my Calyrex slot. That could be a slight issue. We have a slight issue on our hands. Let's see what he's going for. What you got here? Sacred Fire. Yep, into my Calyrex slot. Like I said, slight issue. No burns? A burn. Come on, man. We don't want to deal with burns. So now we're all burned up. We could still throw an Astro Barrage. Uh, I still have Screen's back end, which is solid. If they throw out any special attackers, I'm just going to start snarling them with, uh, with my boy right here. But I do have my lovely Ogre Pond in the back end. So out comes Incineroar. Intimidate. Pretty much wasted both of his Intimidates, which is great. And from here, I mean, I could Terra Fairy just for like HP recovery here. Or I could just protect you. And I kind of feel as protects probably the play. And just go into a stop and catch him to deal some damage with this Incineroar. I'm just going to protect him. Nice, lovely protect. Could see a brave bird pop out here from Ho Oh. Ho Oh's just gonna protect, that's fine. I don't mind that turn. As long as Incineroar is going after Calyrex, which I would think would be most likely happening. So Samba catch him. About half damage, not bad. Burying up. You burying? You got a berry? I don't see a berry. No citrus berry. Maybe a figgy or an aguave. Most likely a figgy. He might get figgy with it. But from here, I could go for Draining Kiss, but I'm looking to just do as much damage as I possibly can. I'm just going to do exactly what I did last turn. But instead of Protect, go Astro Barrage. Chip up some damage on the Ho-Oh. Ho-Oh's probably rocking the Soul Vessel, let's be honest here. Just a super bulky Pokemon. Kind of can go from there. So, I don't mind my Calyrex just getting off some damage. Being out here for a KO or two. It works out well. They might swap Incineroar, though. They might swap Incineroar. And at that point, I would want to get out Grimstrong. Just drop or reflect. I kind of still need to get off screens. The screens are just so powerful. But yeah, what I didn't want happening was me leading Grimmsnarl and then them just faking it out and taking it out. So, we're going to see a Terra pop out here. This has got to be Incineroar. No way it's Ho-Oh. I would love it to be Ho-Oh, but it's definitely Incineroar. Yeah. Incineroar all day. Going to go into the Grass Terra type. The Grass Terra type actually allows Astro Barrage to be neutral against this. So, Astro Barrage might just KO. That might be a bad play for you. Astro Blast flying, does a KO? 
Show me KOs. Pick up a KO. It does not pick up a KO. But I like the damage on Ho-Oh. -Oh. I do like the damage it does on Ho-Oh. -Oh. Top of Tantrum Flies, that's definitely not picking up KO. Yeah, no. They're pretty solid terror on their end. Brave Bird's gonna fly here, do some nice damage across the board. And he's just gonna go for a knockoff, take me out. Okay, that's fine. That is totally fine. So obviously we know Ho-Oh -Oh has protect. Like we already know Ho-Oh -Oh has protect. It has regenerator as well, so now would be the time for him to swap Ho-Oh. -Oh. But since Ho-Oh -Oh is potentially swapping slash protecting, I mean now's a great turn to set up the reflect. It's time to get rid of this uh this Incineroar, and we can go from there. So I'm just gonna go for an E speed here. Actually, what Pokemon could you have in the back end? Rillaboom. It's it's probably Rillaboom or Raging Bull. I think in our best bet, we, we should just throw a Secret Fire in that slot. It's Stab. It's Stab, plus it has a burn chance. So I'm going to set up the Reflect. I'm going to go after Incineroar. Like I said, chances are Ho-Oh is swapping, right? No, it doesn't. That's fine by me. I actually like that. Zente does outspeed both of these guys, which is great. Secret Fire is going to finish you off. We have Reflect up now. We have Ho-Oh pretty low on HP. And I have Ogre Pond in the back end, which screens. Which screens out and about. And I can start Thunder Wave spamming. Beautiful. So actually, this thing ends up going for a recover, which is, mm, I don't like that. And I still have Terra. I have to save my Terra for Ogre Pond. The Terra is saved for Ogre Pond because we're not taking a Brave Bird. We cannot take a Brave Bird. So in comes the swap of Raging Bolt. Now, Raging Bolt's going to come out here, and I'm actually just going to... I'm just going to Spirit Break this thing. And honestly, I'm just going to E-Speed it as well. And the reason I want to E-Speed here is because of I don't want it thunderclapping me and just KOing me. I'm gonna E-speed here. Chip up a little bit of damage. Predict him going for Thunderclap. Yep, all day long. And he's gonna fail. So that fails now. This thing's gonna sacred fire. Grimstrong who should soak. You get a crit. Wow. You're critting and you get a burn. Wow. The luck. The RNG going crazy. Spirit break now flying here. I like it. Chipping up some damage. And I could set up the light screen, which can help out Ogre Pond. Because we need Ogre Pond to win this match. We need Ogre Pond to win this match. We need Ogre Pond. So actually, I am going to set up light screen, and I'm going to snarl here. Light screen snarl. We need as many bulks as we can get with our Ogre Pond. We need as many bulks as we can get. As many. So they don't have Terra anymore, which is kind of annoying. Thunderclap's gonna fly here. It's going to fail. Because you're going after Grimstrong with it. And now we're setting up a light shield. So everything's just kind of working out pretty decently. Might get another turn out of Grimstrong. Who's dodging this? Ho-Oh dodge. You both dodge it? Come on, man. That, that ain't right. That ain't right at all. That's not cool at all. I should have another Snarl out here. Not cool at all. But luckily, we got off light screen. That's fine by me. I am going to try to paralyze the Ho-Oh. Just to kind of keep it under control. Got to keep that under control. We got to paralyze Ho-Oh. So now we're sitting here in a weird position where Ogre Pond's our final Pokemon. We still have Terra for a nice little special defense boost. And the problem here is... Actually, Ho-Oh might protect here. Ho-Oh might protect. Which it would be a solid protect. But I'm going to have to... I'm forced to Terrasilize here. And I got to go into an Ivy Cudge. I'm going to double down to Ho-Oh. I'm going to hope... I'm going to say it do doesn't protect. I'm going to say it kind of just tries to go for a Brave Bird. But man, that Snarl would have been big. That Snarl actually would have been pretty solid. And that non-crit, non-burn on the Grim Snarl, giving it at least a couple more turns. Because a couple more turns with Grim Snarl is massive, especially with this Raging Bolt. Because I'm not really worried about the Ho-Oh. I'm more worried about the Raging Bolt. It's more of the combination of both of them. Because Terrasilizing makes me weak to Electric. But if I don't Terrasilize, Brave Bird's going to KO me. So I'm pretty much forced to Terrasilize because I get a special defense boost. I already have Light Screen up. And that Raging Bolt is minus one. Should be minus two. That Snarl should land it. But now it comes to Protect for Ho-Oh. I kind of knew that was happening. It's really tough. And what are you going for here? What are you going for here, Raging Bolt? Hopefully my Grim Snarl can live on like one or two with this burn. I don't know. Ivy Cudge are going to get blocked. You going for Calm Mind? You could be going for Calm Mind. Calm Mind could be tough news. Thunderbolt. Man, no, I don't like that one bit. We soak rather well. We do soak rather well. And the real question is, do we paralyze Ho-Oh? Or do we just... Actually, am I dead? I do die. Never mind. I was going to say, do we paralyze Ho-Oh or go for A? 
or go for a spirit break, but that pretty much wraps it up there. That was big time protect from them. I'm still gonna go for the Ivy Cudgel here to look to KO the Ho Oh. And maybe, just maybe, they miss a Thunderbolt, but a combination of Thunderbolt and Thunderclap really just kind of puts the game away, right? Plus, my shots are not very effective. There's a Thunderclap here. We're able to soak decently well. Ivy Cudgel flying here. How much damage? This should KO you. This should KO you. Uh oh. Yeah, you're gone. Get it on out my face. Get it on out my face. So we finally get rid of the ho oh, and now we're sitting here. Like I said, this thing should have been minus two. And if it was minus two, who knows? We potentially could have won this match. Now from here, we could go for Spike Shield. I mean, nothing really crazy. I mean, Ivy Cudgel's our best bet going for crit. He's going for Thunderbolt here. Can we soak up a Thunderbolt? I don't even think it matters because then you can just spam, uh, you can just spam Thunderclap. Thunderbolt flying out here. That's going to be game, right? Oh, we survive. We actually might be able to survive Thunderclap. We go for Horn Leech instead. I mean, we need a crit. That's the only way we win is if we crit this Raging Bolt. So I'm just going to spam this. I'm just going to spam this hope for a crit. They don't go for Thunderclap, which is kind of odd. Can we get a crit? Can we get a crit for the win? Give me a crit. No crits. We don't get crits here. Not allowed. Thunderbolt's going to finish us off here. Solid second match there. Going the distance. Long drawn out battle. But this Raging Bolt ends up getting the best of us. Moving on to our final match for today's video, and we're going up against a Groudon Sun team. Now, Sun, or I should say Weather, is a little bit of a problem up against this team because we have no way of weather control. So, screens are going to be our best friend, and I'm going to have to lead this right off the rip. So, I'm going to go Screens, Crimson, all. And furthermore, I am going to lead Calyrex. I could lead Calyrex. I could lead Calyrex. Which could be good. Yeah, I'm going to end up leading Calyrex. So, Obviously, they probably want to lead like Groudon and maybe alongside with the Walking Wake, which again could be an issue for us. But I think from here we go these two. We bring in our Entei and we also bring in our Urshfu. Urshfu can be top tier, especially with Sucker Punch late game. First and priority is just such a big deal when it comes to competitive Pokemon. We need it, we can use it. If we don't need it, we can also use our Focus Sash and hit hard with our Critical Hit Wicked Blow. So a lot of different options for us here. Groudon looking definitely scary, especially Walking Wake and Groudon, right? But they end up going Ndidi and Chiyu. So Ndidi Chiyu pop out here. Um, I mean, we're kind of forced to Terrasilize our Rimne Pokemon and set up a Light Screen. So Kyle is actually going to get the Terra here into the Fairy type. We don't want to deal with a, a Heat Wave flying here, right? Or not Heat Wave, a Dark Pulse into Kyle So we'll just take it out, no problem. So from here, we are just going to set up the Light Screen. We are just going to terrestrialize you, and I think actually now, a Nash Spot's probably in our best interest. I'm going to set up a Nash Spot. I mean, Nash Spot just works so well. You guys seen it in match number one. Setting up the Nash Spot's just really, really powerful, and they're going to end up swapping in the ground on here. This is looking a little a bit a bit more scary right now. It's looking a bit more scary here, because this is making me think they're going for uh, Heat Wave. I don't like Heat Wave. I, I just don't like it. I don't like it. It's like terrifying. Making me think you're going for heat wave. So we're gonna set up light screen this turn. We'll get off reflect to help out with the ground on damage next turn. Calyx, you're going for an ass spot. Show me you're going for a dark pulse. Just dark pulse it up. Just dark pulse it up. That's all I ask for you. Just throw a little dark pulse our way. Throw a little dark pulse. Good to know that my Calyx does outspeed to you. It's not truly scarf. We'd love that. And you are going for heat wave. How much damage are you doing? All right, that damage pretty solid. I mean, I got to go for Reflect here. And I have to go for a Draining Kiss now just to get back some HP. And I'm going to hope that this actually KOs the Chiyu. And you protect Groudon. We love that. You protect Groudon here. So I'm now getting off this Reflect. How much damage is this doing? How much damage is this Draining Kiss doing? Give me some HP back too. Can it just KO? It does. That's massive. So now we're sitting plus three. We got Nasty Plot up. Our HP's back into green, 130, 140. I think it's 136. Mm -hmm. I can pile, I'm out speeding. We got a lot going for us right now. That's a big time play for us. Surprised that ground unprotected. I mean, and I mean, I think uh, my Calyx could have eaten up whatever shot I had to offer though. Except for if it was like, maybe like a heat crash. But Fluttermane flies out here. Hopefully you're not choice. I am gonna paralyze that thing. I'm paralyzing you. You were so getting paralyzed. No doubt in my mind. You're still getting paralyzed. We're not even taking a chance. So I'm going to throw a paralyze up here. I do have both screens up. Paralyze into Astral Barrage. Flying out here. Plus three. We're looking to just do as much damage as we possibly can, right? 
So we're gonna see a terror pop out here from Fluttermane. Gonna go into the normal or not normal fairy terror, right? Yep, just to try to dodge some astral barrage damage. And this is gonna go fire terror. Fire terror. I mean, that doesn't really help that much because you you're still gonna die to this astral barrage unless you're sash. Thunder wave, I'm stupid. They said terrain. I don't know what I'm doing. Did not think about that. But astral barrage still flying here. Plus three. Stab, life orb. I love this horse. I love this horse! Get him on out of here! Giddy up, Calyrex! Giddy up! Come on, man. That's too easy. Calyrex wants to get set up. I told you guys. It's game over. I said it in the beginning. Once you nasty pop this thing, wrap it up. If they can't out you, you're just doing too much damage. Now I'm plus five on special attack. Now I'm plus five due to Grimnay. We love a good old Grimnay. Indeed, he comes out here as the final Pokemon. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. I'm sending plus five, aren't I? I am plus five, so I can just spirit break you. Check this out, guys. Plus five on special attack with both screens out. It's night night. It's night night. From here, we just go drain and kiss. We go spirit break. They cancel the battle. We go two and one for today's video. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, dominating with Shadow Rider Calyrex. I told you guys, this team is the real deal. If you guys want to rent this team, save it for ranked battles. The rental code is at the top right-hand corner. But Calyrex Grimstarl, phenomenal combo. You're going to be seeing Grimstarl a lot. And you're also going to be seeing Shadow Rider Calyrex a lot in Regulation G. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.